I'm Abayeka. Today we have a very interesting session. We are going to do a, a practical, basically to end up finding detection of uh, carbon dioxide and we are going to use very, very new technology of using probes. So here is carbon dioxide gas sensors. This is the probe that we are going to use to detect carbon dioxide. Basically, we have uh, different ways of having carbon dioxide. You can have carbon dioxide from uh, respiration, as you respire, you give out uh, the air, which is carbon dioxide, and you can find carbon dioxide through reaction. So today we're going to do a way of collecting carbon dioxide of the mere reaction, and we are going to react hydrochloric acid, which is diluted, of six more of uh, diluted hydrochloric acid, but also we're going to react it with uh, sodium hydrogen carbonate or sodium bicarbonate. Most of the people prefer to call it so. And also, to talk on, uh, uh, so I have just uh, put it here in volume. So here I've just uh, put 20 ml of 6 mol hydrochloric acid, and we have 25 ml 6 mol hydrochloric acid but we have different kind of lab quest which we are going to use to attain the the results this lab quest is a mean one which in order to use this you need to have a computer so that's why here I've just put in the laptop so in here we're going to see our results as the reaction goes on so the probe is going to detect carbon dioxide from the reaction and it's going to display here in your computer but also we have another uh, lab crust this is uh, the modest one which has a display here you can see what is going to be exactly uh, displayed on this laptop so if you're going to use this then you don't need to use laptop because it has uh, it has a screen here, so it can display the same same thing as what is going to be displayed in our uh, on our laptop. So, also another thing to know that when you use this lab quest mean, you need to to use laptop. So in your laptop, you should have been already uh, installed certain app called the logger pro so you should install it in your computer and then the these uh these uh lab quest is ven venia uh, venia carbon dioxide probe for venia carbon dioxide probe so as you connect all of these together you're going to have your results for instance you connect this uh this carbon dioxide uh, gas sensor now if you now you connect or uh, you take this you connect it to your venic carbon dioxide pro so you connect here now directly you see your computer will give out the readings the reading is showed that in this room there are carbon dioxide which is measured in ppm part per million so you can see there once you maybe let's let me disconnect here you can see it stopped but once you connect the moment you connect it begins to read the concentration of carbon dioxide that's found in this room right the same apply when you use this one if you take this in requests is not much brighter but i think you can see and if you connect now, you uh, there are some ports here. If you connect, now uh, to start to read, it reads the concentration of carbon dioxide that is found in this room, right? So here's once you connect, but we have not yet begun our our, our the reaction to have those carbon dioxide to be uh, to be detected. So in here, this is called a bio chamber. You're going to use this. The 
buy chamber, you're going to put in here your sodium bicarbonate and that's followed by hydrochloric acid in the reaction. Before the reaction to start, you close it clearly and then you put your, your gas sensor and this is a rubber band you put in here so that not to allow the carbon dioxide to come out. So the carbon dioxide should be detected uh, using this gas sensor. As well, in here, the same, same stuff we're going to do to use. Here is the weighing bottle. We're going to use this to weigh uh, like two grams of this sodium hydro, hydrogen carbonate, two grams. So we are going to use the constant amount of of sodium hydrogen carbonate or sodium bicarbonate, but we are going to use different different volume of hydrochloric acid diluted six mole, and then we're going to see how the results going to appear, because we need to know the different of uh, how the, the 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 different of volume can affect uh, the 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 carbon dioxide or can can cause or can give out the concentration of carbon dioxide. Actually, the, the different in volume will give us different concentration of carbon dioxide. So we need to prove it through our, our, our probes that we have. So in the up with I'm going to measure two grams of sodium, I mean sodium hydrogen carbonate for the first uh, bio chamber, and I'm going to measure another for the second bio chamber. So get ready. Now we are going to measure our sodium hydrogen carbonate in our weighing bot, as I said. So you have to place there the, your weighing bot on the, the balance, then you should tear. That's calibration to give you zero, zero. Then you put your, your uh, sodium hydrogen carbonate. You should be very careful because we need a very minimum amount of two grams. Should put there. Very careful. That is one. And because we are not too far from the results, so you can put it little by little to have two. So finally, I think this is going to be enough. A little. Yeah, we have two grams of our sodium uh, bicarbonate. So we can put this little bit aside and you can measure another quickly. And then you should tear to put zero. Then as usual, you put your hard sodium hydrogen carbonate here. As I said, you should be very careful because you need a very little amount of sodium hydrogen covenant. Put that. I think that's enough. Yeah. So we have already have our sodium hydrogen covenant, two grams per each wing bottle. So we're going to. We have already taken these now we are going to put in here and in here remember don't confuse here we use this because we're using laptop and anyway. because not because you're using laptop laboratory because we're using this lab cast main because it doesn't have the display but this has a display so we have to differentiate but also here is 20 now uh, here is 20 mils but in here is 25 ml of hydrogen, uh, so I mean hydrochloric acid. So let's go and do it. Go there, and you can open here. Put your uh, 
sodium halogen carbonate well and you can pause if you feel like it's gonna and here you can put your within carbonate and you can cause it. Because once you put this uh, I mean uh, your acid in here before you put you have to put your sensor here. Mind you, it's not much necessary to calibrate this, as you can see here, it's not much necessary to calibrate put zero, not much necessary because we are going to concentrate on the graph, right, as well as in here. So you can put it here, once you put your uh, hydrochloric acid in here, you should start here to correct the data because even though the reaction will begin, so you should do very quickly, put the, the solution of acid in here, or put your acid in here, then start to correct the data. As you can see here, if you press your cursor, it's right to co start collection. So this probe, I mean, this gas sensor will begin now to sense the carbon dioxide gas is, that is being produced the, during the reaction. The same operation here, once you finish, you have to, this is not really, you have to press this button here, showing that now pray, because it will start to correct the carbon dioxide that is being collected, or is being sensitized. So I'm gonna put here first my 25, or my 20 mils hydrochloric acid in here, and then once I put here, I began to right. We are fried because it's not that much harsh. Put all of that in there, then close a little bit higher, close tightly, and then you could start here. So it's going to start. We're gonna see the results later after. The center point here, we, we should wait for 10 minutes. And here, we open here and then we put. Hi, you can do like this. Pause here. Pause. And now the carbon dioxide is going to be. Yeah. And then you can start the correct. So now we are ready to see the results after 10 minutes. Here you can do like this so that all the acid should get into contact with sodium hydrogen carbonate. Don't be afraid because it's not that violent. Yes. How our graph is showing the concentration of uh, carbon dioxide gas that is being produced in here. And once it finish, it will end. Once it finish here, it will end, and there will be no more reaction. That means the center prime here. Once it finish, to be no more reaction. So what I want you to understand in here is to know how does the volume uh, will give you as different results of carbon dioxide that is going to be produced. Right. So let's wait for some minutes until it's finished. All right. So the production, uh, the reaction is still moving on. That's why you can see here in this. Uh, lab class 2 that we have it shows us uh, it shows us the concentration of uh, con concentration of uh, carbon dioxide as you can see now it's been in the very constant line after going very higher up to uh, 1100,000 right then here also in our second by chamber with the main lab cross you can 
see the results the main screen in our laptop there that it is still going on but not the difference here we have because this is the concentration you see so here it shows us still it, it i mean it moved up to ten thousand so the concentration of carbon dioxide is up to ten thousand because to move from zero actual from here then it goes up 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 to uh, ten thousand then it begins to be in a very constant uh, very straight line the constant shows this is a very constant uh, production right the same apply to here but actual here is different because the difference is in you can tap there is in the the level of uh, our carbon dioxide the concentration is it has one two hundred thousand and ten yeah hundred thousand and ten you can do this so that you can see it well you can see there right this one it is very higher this is the higher reading right because it has already done with production then it stopped automatically you see here because this show that the production is over so no more reaction is going on that's why you can see this kind of symbol here it has already paused right the same apply to here no more reaction is going on that's why you see this uh, green i mean a greenish color there that means no more reaction is going on so this is to say that you can conclude by saying that because in here we used 20 or uh, we used 20 mils of 20 mils of hydrochloric acid in this bar chamber which uh, actually has given us the results the reading or concentration of carbon dioxide in part per million as you can read here the high range or high read is almost 100,000 right and 10 you can see there the same apply in here so this is 20 uh, 20 mils of hydrochloric acid but in 25 mils of carbon dioxide with the same or constant uh, grams of sodium hydrocarbonate it shows us that the concentration of carbon dioxide in part per millions uh, went up to 10,000 right up to 10,000 as you can see here so that is for today later on on in another uh, practical will tell you how can you interpret more those results you can do this or you can use this this new technology of using carbon dioxide gas sensor uh, whether in biology uh, you can use that and here is in chemistry that i have shown you so thank you so much for joining us and you're welcome